YouTube, how's it going? The Goat House is back with my Washington football team 2021 NFL offseason rebuild. I play GM. We got realistic cuts. Take a look at the cap space, re-signings. Uh, then we got a couple different scenarios of top free agency targets and top draft targets. Uh, and we're doing this for every single team. We've already went through a few a lot more to go. We're, again, every single team, so we'll get to your team. Really excited about this one here. A lot of good fits, scenarios. Uh, follow our Twitter, Constant NFL Talk, breaking news, breaking down the breaking news, everything. Um, we talk about everything football there on the Twitter. So link in the comment section there as well as the description for anything you need. Uh, please subscribe, full NFL offseason content. Anything you can think of NFL-wise, it's either on the channel or it's coming, so we have you covered. So. Yeah, hopefully you can join us for all that. Uh, here's our Twitter. Again, constantly talking numbers when things happen. You know, everything you can think of here. And I'll, I'll pin a link in the comments for this. Pretty useful uh, live cap space projections by myself and then projected cuts or trades and what kind of space uh, that can clear. So I think it's pretty useful there. Washington football team. We're cutting Alex Smith. So uh, around $40 million in cap space in that range. The, the exact team salary cap number hasn't been decided yet. Could be... Slightly less or a little bit more than this, but it's a weird it's a weird off season. Usually we have that set number, but this is definitely an accurate number. You know, very realistic. Uh, but cutting Alex Smith business decision here, thirteen point six million. Um, they signed T Taylor Henneke, uh, You know, back he actually looked pretty damn good in that playoff game. I always thought he looked. You know, he played in Minnesota, played a lot of preseason games. I always thought he was pretty good in those preseason games there. Um, so they signed him back, most likely to be a backup. You know, maybe with a shot. Um, to play maybe in the future, but yeah, I mean, you got to cut Alex Smith, you know, it's a business decision here. 13.6 million is a lot of money. You save that. So yeah, we, we bumped that up to uh 53.6 million in that range, give or take a little bit. Uh, it's a lot of cap space, a lot of cap space. Brandon Scherf got the franchise tag last year, could get it again this year. I just don't think he will. And I don't think he, they should do it. Uh, you know, it's pretty pricey. I think above 18 million for a guard. Yeah, he might be one of the better guards in football. It's a ridiculous amount of money. Um, so I, I think you can sign him long-term, and it's much cheaper per year than that. So that would make sense to me. Bring back Ronald Darby. Um, pretty solid for them. You know, he you know had his mistakes here and there, got beat downfield here and there. But overall, you know, first year in Ron Rivera's system, you know, I thought he looked pretty solid. You, know, you can bring him back. I think he's a guy that... Well, you look at Fuller, who actually played phenomenal outside. He actually can dominate the slot as well. I think either one of these guys can dominate the slot. So if you do look to add a, a cornerback in free agency or the draft, you can play all three, really. Or you can kind of – we'll talk about with the safeties. We can kind of get unique with the safeties a little bit. And Kevin Pierre-Lewis played pretty well for them. You know, probably a cheaper option they can bring back. Um, yeah, so th these are some signs I'm looking to bring back here. Only really three that I think are that necessary. You want to get better. It's a really good defensive team. You want to complete the defense, make it elite. But you mainly you want to look at the quarterback position, the receiver position, complete the offensive line. This can be a dangerous, dangerous team in no time. We don't really want to stay the same. We want to get better. We want to use that cap space. That's what we're doing here. Keep in mind with these options about the show, they're realistic. I, I don't think I would love, you know, I put myself here. You know, I'm playing GM for Washington football team. I would love to have Deshaun Watson. I just don't think it's realistic. I don't think it's going to happen. So I'm looking at realistic options here that I would like. Jameis Winston. I would I would really like Jameis Winston for the Washington football team. There's been some talk the Saints you know, are likely to get him back, but the Saints are in a pretty rough cap space situation. If a team offers a certain amount, maybe the Saints really can't match it. It's not going to be an insane amount of money. But I would like Winston on on Washington on this Washington football team here. Uh, you know, I would. You know, he's a big play explosive play guy you know he threw I mean he threw for 5,000 yards he did throw a lot of interceptions but he's gonna get you yards he's gonna get you points all right that's kind of what Washington's been underwhelming at you know the defense can only do so much you need to make sure they're, they're well rested on the sideline you can't go three and out you're gonna get that with Jameis Winston he will turn the ball over but they have the defense to overcome that in those situations so I love Jameis Winston with a really good defense and Washington might have the best defense going forward here especially looking at that front, that defensive front with their pass rush interior and on the off the edge here. So I would like Winston. He's going to need some targets, so get him a guy like Allen Robinson. I'm a little afraid, though, somebody's going to overspend for Allen Robinson. You know, you could get some guys in the draft that are a lot cheaper that can make just as impact as the top-tier receivers like Allen Robinson in the NFL. I mean, look what these young receivers are doing. Um, but I would like him, you know, with Terry McLaurin. Robinson actually... 
started playing in the slot a lot more, you know, even though he's kind of a contested catch outside guy. So he's actually kind of taking his game to the next level. So I'd like that with Terry McLaurin. And get a guy like Cam Robinson, you know, you need a left tackle, in my opinion. I, I like I still like Morgan Moses um, at right tackle. Um, they're looking pretty solid at guard if Brandon Scherf is back. Um, Sadiq Charles, you know, can move around as well if you need him to step up. Uh, but Cam Robinson's been a little inconsistent. You know, one you know one week with the Jags, you'll look good. One week, not so much. He's still very young, 25 years old. Plug him in with this system. I think he can have a successful career here. So I would like him at left tackle for the Washington football team. Then you go into the draft. Yeah, we this is kind of a route where we're really stacking up receivers. Um, you know, for Jameis Winston. We want this offense to be explosive as it can be. We need some speed. Terry McLaurin has some speed. Uh, Allen Robinson's more of a contested catch guy, but get a guy like Kadarius Tony from Florida with his speed. All these guys have the ability to play inside and out, so you can use them all at once on either side of the field. Um, it just really turned into that much of a dynamic offense because you have the running backs too. This, 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 is a, this is a scary offense just like that. So that's kind of the route I went here. Uh, adding Asante Samuel Jr., I think Ron Rivera is going to love a guy like Asante Samuel Jr., Ron Rivera is known for running a lot of zone. They actually ran a little bit more man than Ron Rivera usually does last year, and that's because their pass rush is that good, so they could continue to do that. But Ron Rivera is known for you know running a lot of cover three, a lot of zone coverages when he's had success in Carolina. Asante Samuel will be a playmaker in that type of defense. He will get his hands in the ball. That pass rush will help him get his hands in the ball. I, th I think they should, and I think they will love him there. It's a really good pick in the second round. Could go first. Um, then they add Dylan Moses, whose stock has fallen a little bit. Not the best year after coming back after the injury. But we know he has a talent in him, so this could be a potential future upgrade at linebacker, maybe even right away, definitely a play right away. Uh, then add another offensive lineman you know, that could potentially help out in multiple spots. I think a guy like Jackson Carmen from Clemson, who is a tackle. Uh, but I think potentially, you know, if you need somebody to fill in that guard, that, that can help out as well. Um, you know, so they, they do have two, was it two third round picks? So that's why I got uh, multiple top options here. So that's one scenario. We got to figure out the quarterback situation, and it's got to be realistic. So the other scenario, uh, I think Mariota is realistic, and I like Mariota. I like what he showed last year, pretty versatile, you know, different types of plays. And I think in a Scott Turner type offense, that could they could have some success with that. I think you only have to trade, you know, something like around around four here. So add Mariota in here and then get his former receiver, get his former teammate in Corey Davis. He had a career year, another guy that can play inside and out, pair him with Terry McLaurin. That's ideal there. Um, and safety might not be a big need because, or it could be, they have Cameron Curl and who was fantastic last year, the rookie from Arkansas, and they have Landon Collins coming back. Um, so you could use more of a free, a playmaking free safety in the back end if you need to play, you know, single high. They could, uh, they could make Curl and Collins work together. They could play all three really. Collins kind of being that box player rather than having a slot player, you know. So. Um, I kind of gave a scenario where they target that, you know, that more of that playmaking deep, you know, safety. And a guy like Anthony Harris, I think, is a fit. I think he became, I think he's cheaper than what people are kind of throwing out there because he had a kind of an off year. But last year, um, you know, 2019, he played like one of the better safeties in football. Um, and then you go to the draft, Elijah Vera Tucker, you know, add that guy that can potentially play left tackle for you. Could be a dominant guard as well. Aaron Robinson, I think, could be somewhat similar to Asante Samuel Jr. I think he could fit in their scheme, could play in the slot if they need him to or outside. Um, you know, pretty even amount of reps on both sides. Uh, remind me a little bit of Tredavious White when he came out of LSU. Uh, Dwayne Eskridge, you know, so kind of kind of get that, you know, that footwork, you know, separation receiver here um, to pair with Davis and Terry McLaurin because you desperately need to upgrade uh, that receiver unit. So you grab him early third. Uh, and then adding a linebacker that could potentially help right away. Derek Barnes from Purdue is really good in coverage. He's definitely a sleeper player. Uh, day two, yeah, later day two, round, round three. Um, really good in coverage, really good in coverage. So I, I think, um, you know, they're, they're not going to need linebackers that, you know, blitz a whole bunch or get that pressure. Their, their front's going to handle that. You know, I think Cole Holcomb they have, he's pretty good at that anyways. Um, so I think getting a coverage guy like Derek Barnes could be ideal here. So you see two different scenarios here. I, I know maybe some fans were hoping a bigger name at quarterback, but I'm trying to be realistic, and I also love the fits here. Um, you know, and money has to be spent elsewhere as well. These quarterbacks don't cost a whole bunch, so you're making some payments here on uh, receivers or safety, whatever the option, whatever the scenario is here. So, again, I, I really like these options. I think they're realistic. I think they're really good fits. 
Um, so let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. We talk about these on Twitter after they're uploaded. You guys can talk about which scenario is better. We do we do it for every team. We're going to upload this video for every single team. So we'll, we'll get to your team. Uh, and at the same time, we have all kinds of NFL offseason content on the channel uh, and plenty more to come. Anything you can think of NFL-wise, we got you for this offseason. So can't wait for, for free agency in the NFL draft. Can't wait to cover it. Please follow that Twitter. Smash that like button. Subscribe. Turn notifications on so you don't miss a thing. That is going to do it for this one, though. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.